Okay, resetters, I know a lot of you want to go into that longer fast. I get it. I, 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 it's a pretty magical experience. So here's what I want to do is I want to go through my five really important things to say about the proven benefits of longer fast. And then at the tail end, I want to go some, through some that are not per se proven, but that we see a lot I've seen for myself, we've seen in our community. So we'll go through those as well. The first thing I want to talk about is why would you want to do a longer fast? And the biggest thing that to realize is that the longer you go, the more healing happens. That's really, really crucial. So when we go 13 hours, we may metabolically switch. We like, ooh, hunger went down. Ooh, I burned some fat. But the longer I stay in a fasted state, the more healing it should get, the easier it should get as well. But the proven benefits, the really long-term therapeutic fasting is in those longer fasts, so much so that there's fasting retreats, there's spas you can go to. Um, I mean, there's a lot of places that will um, let you dip into those longer fasts because the therapeutic benefit is so great. Here's the one, first thing I want to say, which is what constitutes a longer fast. So for me, it's anytime a stem cell starts to kick in because stem cells are very reparative, but more importantly, it, stem cells we know kick in in the intestinal tract in mice, so it may kick in a little bit earlier in humans, around 24 hours. So we want to go into these longer fasts so that we can start to get um, a, a deeper healing, one of which is being stem cells. Second reason you would want to go into a longer fast is to reboot the immune system. This is something that, like, I thought about a lot during the pandemic. I, you know, we, it was in, it really interesting, the pandemic, I know we're kind of done talking about it, but what was really interesting for me is that it became very, very clear that we needed to help the world with metabolic health, that there was this interesting interchange between metabolic health and immune health. But what a lot of people realized is that their immune systems were very sluggish. And so if you got COVID and you got it bad, I want you to think about this, that it's possible your immune system was just a little sluggish and it needed a reboot. And the best way to reboot your immune system is through a three-day water fast. And why that is, is what the three-day water fast will do is it wipes away old bl white blood cells and it, and it gets rid of them, and then it re-energizes ones that might be a little sluggish. So the second reason I like to go into longer fasts is it primes and it reboots the immune system. Now, it can also do this with those of you that have uh, autoimmune conditions. You know, autoimmune immunity is a hyperactivity of the immune system. So when we go into three-day water fast, we can balance we can start to balance our, our immune system out so it's not as reactive. Um, a really interesting place that I've seen some studies is around PCOS, which is an autoimmune condition, and, um, and uh, testosterone levels, that we can see testosterone levels balance out when women specifically go into these longer fasts and it'll start to balance testosterone out because it just repairs the whole system. Fast Like a Girl, I did have um, a section in the back of my favorite protocols for a lot of autoimmune conditions. So if you're interested in that, you can go get that book. Third thing, we've do, I've done videos on this, but it, it, in the context of here, I really wanna make sure you understand that the longer fasts remove the senescent cells. So senescent cells are zombie cells. They're cells that are aging, they're disease-laden cells. They're gonna, and, and when, once a cell is, is old and becomes a zombie cell and, and wants to recruit other zombie cells and they become a zombie gang of, of really bad cells, um, it, they replicate and they take over. And so when we go into longer fasts, what we can do is we can wipe away these senescent cells. A really interesting book I, I read years ago, I don't remember which one of his books it was titled, but it was Tim Ferriss's, one of his books. And he, and he interviewed Dominic D'Agostino in the book and there, there, there was a conversation around if you do two three-day water fasts every year that you could wipe out all cancer cells in your body. Now, I, I can't find any proof on that, but the, but the logic actually seems pretty interesting because what I do know is that um, if you, you know, cancer cells start to take over, if your immune system isn't on the job of identifying, there's a problem. So when we go into these longer fasts, we're priming the immune system and we're getting these potential precancerous cells or maybe cancerous cells, we're, we're getting rid of them. They, they would fall into that senescent category. So if you're looking to remove these aging cells and prevent 
a disease like cancer, a three-day water fast is really good. For me, I do two three-day water fasts um, a year as a cancer prevention. And to get, you know, it's also to slow down aging, get rid of the senescent cells, yada, 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 all of that, all of the wonderful reasons I'm telling you right now. Okay, the fourth reason that I wanna encourage you to look at uh, a longer fast is because you increase stem cells. And there are specifically two lengths that increase stem cells, the 24-hour fast and the 72-hour fast. Now, before I explain those here, I really wanna talk about what is a stem cell. Remember, you have a lot of stem cells when you're little, and they help. This they can go to areas and repair any part of your body. That's why they're so magical. But the human body, about the time you hit about the, or you get older, the stem cell production goes down, and by the time you hit about 30, you don't get any stem cells anymore, just like you don't get any growth hormone anymore. So we have to find new ways to energize these stem cells and get them back on track so they're repairing everything in the body. And the three day, the 24 hour fast repairs the gut. So the research was done out of MIT. I'll put the link here in the note that out of MIT, we saw intestinal stem cells in mice completely reboot themselves at, at a 24 hour fast. So this is important for those of you who've been on a lot of antibiotics, women who've been on birth control for many years. If you're coming to fasting, you really have a poor diet. This is really important because we can start to repair the, that gut. If you haven't heard me say it, I did a five day water fast one time where I had a really bad Achilles tendon injury and I did fasted for five days. I could feel a real intense feeling in my Achilles tendon. When I went back in and started eating food again, I could start to feel the pain go away and, and it never came back. So those longer fasts can be really helpful for getting you a dose of stem cells to start to repair these aging body parts. And then the last thing I really wanna talk about that I think is fascinating it's new, and in, in, in preparation for this video, I found it and I thought, oh, this is cool, I haven't talked about this before, which is the longer fast will increase telomere length. And it does that through the stem cell activation. But remember that telomere length is gives us an indication of how quickly your body is aging. So the longer your telomeres, the slower the aging process. And there, there are companies you can, you can look at that will, you just spit in a tube, you send it off, it'll tell you your age and it'll tell you where your telomeres are at. But what we know is when we go into these longer fasts, we start to see a change in and a lengthening of the telomeres. And again, I'm gonna put all the science on telomeres, stem cells, um, in and Walter Longo's original study on the immune system, I'll put it here in the notes so that you can see it um, for those of you that are science hounds. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called a beginner's guide to a fasting lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. Now the last thing I wanna tell you on the longer fast that I, is, is not a proven benefit, but something a lot of us experience, and that is incredible mental clarity and insight. And I've spoken about this before here on this channel, but if you're new to my channel, I really want you to understand that the longer we go with fasting, the more the brain quiets. It's interesting to me, like when we eat, that, that we're susceptible to all the noise of the world. But when we go into this fasted state, it's like all, if all the noise of the world is coming at us, all of a sudden it just quiets and everything becomes very focused. I think this might be because you have to go hunt for food and the body's like, okay, we're shutting down all the external noise because we gotta go find food. I think that's why the body does that. What it means to you is you're gonna have real clarity on any problems you might have, you have real clarity, spiritual insight, downloads, what, you know, if whatever your belief system is, lean into it in big ways when you go into these longer fasts because it can really, you can really tap into it. And I've shared um, here before that like anytime I have a problem that I can't seem to overcome, I can't get past it, can't find the solution, I literally go into a three day water fast and every single time the solution appears. And that's because of this last piece that I, that I really am emphasizing, that there is great spiritual and mental clarity that comes from the longer fast. Is it proven? You know, maybe not in a research study proven, but in hearing people, in ex me experiencing it, everything I, I teach you all here, I do myself, uh, many of us are finding this. So in fact, if it's you, put that in the comments because I think you'll start to see that um, a lot of people are using fasting for solving problems in their life and for spiritual clarity. Now we do know every religion's used fasting, so that's, that's a well-known fact. But do we use that on an individual way, in, in an individual way? It's really interesting. So 
Longer fasts, I love them. I believe the three-day water fast should be done twice a year. I like doing them in January and September at the end of the holidays. And for those of you here in my hemisphere, we do it at the end of summer. That's why I like September. Okay, so if you love this video, you're gonna wanna check out the next video in my fasting series. I know that fasting helps you lose weight without changing your food, but if you're intermittent fasting and gaining weight, then I really recommend that you look at three food changes.